Hello, thanks for taking a few minutes and stopping by and chatting with me about art. Recycled art, found art are some of my most favorite types of art. I love when people create something from very limited resources. So right here I have a security envelope. If you're like me, you get lots of crap in the mail. This is one of the many things that comes into my post box. I took the security envelope, I cut it, and now it is my canvas. So I'm going to take some just things I have laying around, really lots of stuff just sitting around on my desk. I have no rhyme, I have no reason, I am simply playing. This is one of the things I do if I don't have something I'm working on specifically or I'm in a bit of a creative block or I just need some mindless activity to clear my thoughts and help me just put something down on paper. So making these geometric shapes is very soothing to me. I love playing with watercolors. I love the blending and the bleeding of watercolors. I love them flowing in all sorts of directions and I love overlapping circular shapes. So for me this is really meditation that you're watching. This is really just calm, effortless, mindlessness happening right here. Decompression. Now that I have my sparse and random circles placed, I'm taking watercolor and I'm just putting it down. And what I've decided to do is that I'm sort of following the shapes and the shapes are dictating where the color is going to go. So if this small circle is outside of the big circle, I'm going to do it this teal color. And then I'm just going to sort of let that be the pattern and everywhere I have that shape overlapping, I'm going to use that color and then on the inside of the bigger circle, I'm going to use a different color. And I get my watercolors everywhere and anywhere. If I see them at Goodwill, I'll pick them up. If I see them at the dollar store, Walmart, Michaels, wherever. Hobby Lobby's got lots of fun crafts too. I'll pick them up anywhere. I have no particular brand that I'm in love with. What I do have is lots of different paint from lots of different places and I couldn't even tell you where they, they've all come from. But what I like to do is if I'm working in a color theme, golds or greens or teals or pinks or reds or whatever, blacks, grays, browns, I'll pull from all the different kinds and all the different watercolors that I have. And to see the different variations, because everybody's pigment is a little bit richer. I have one that has this uh, sort of latex feel to it. I don't know where this came from, but it doesn't dry the same way as the rest of the watercolors. Others are more chalky. I think the more expensive ones are probably chalky and the cheaper ones are the latex type things. But when you pull from different places, from the expensive to the cheap, you get this menagerie of color and it really becomes something that can't be recreated and that's one of the things I love about art is that this is its own thing I couldn't do this again if I wanted to and here I'm going through and I'm starting to add some of this purple and you see that the colors are a bit odd like there's not really you know one particular color I'm going for I'm just grabbing whatever interests me for that particular shape and I work really intuitively I don't ever plan anything out I think um, lots of times life is about planning so for me my art is very intuitive and I just move with whatever's working at that particular time here I've discovered a little white circle that I forgot to color blue. So I go back and I grab the blue to color that in so that it's cohesive with the rest of its like circle friends. 
and now I'm moving back into the purple so I'm gonna speed this up all of this is sped up but I'm gonna make this a little bit faster so we can get through this and here I'm pulling a chocolate brown and I'm going to do the entire background in chocolate brown and once I get this background done then I'm gonna start adding some depth to it I'm gonna put some colors into what I've already painted let them bleed in there a little bit and that's what I'm gonna do is just go through add the brown add some other colors into the background and then start making those circle shapes a little bit more interesting by adding some dimension with new colors since I'm mostly impatient my circles have bled a little bit into the background so I'm drying it and I'm going back to try to define those areas so when I'm taking this low light or highlight whatever the color is when I'm adding the depth and dimension there I'm sort of making my reestablishing my boundary lines on these circles so that's what I'm doing and like I said get out and just start making shapes get out and play without worrying what it's going to turn out like or thinking oh you know maybe I can't do that everybody can you know color a circle and stamp it onto something a security envelope everybody can do that and you know everybody's things are going to come out different everybody's are going to look unique and interesting and their own creation and the other reason I like to use found backgrounds is I think that it adds interest to it when you see this pattern of the security in the background to me it's really interesting I I love it so here it is bleeding and wet and I'm using colors from different types of what watercolors so it's here it's there it's everywhere and I'm picking colors to accentuate it that are in the family but not necessarily even the exact same colors and I like that for me it's working so that's what I'm continuing to do bring out some of those colors add a little bit more depth where I, I want it and you see there's no pattern as far as where the lights hitting it it's it's not that kind of thing well oh your your sun is over here so it will be casting the shadow there it's none of that it is a free-for-all it is completely spontaneous and that's what I'm doing here so as I'm putting the final touches and the final color variations on here I'm really enjoying this this picture how it came out and to start from nothing and to use very humble supplies and to be able to create something like this no it's never gonna hang in a gallery no it's not gonna change or revolutionize art or the art world or anybody's life but for me it was a great moment to just sit and be and let everything go and just embrace this moment so thanks for taking a few minutes and and sharing the moment with me and if you like this kind of art please hit subscribe please comment because I love watching other people's videos when they tell me that you know they did a video on this that or the other I love going over to watch it and I love finding people who are creating art and using scrappy things scrappy ideas